Now in this video, I want to show you how you can write the equation of a parabola by just looking at the vertex and one more point. So yeah, one problem that we have is you can't say what's the x-intercept clearly. So it is somewhere between 0 and 1 and between 5 and 6. So you can't write the equation from the x-intercept. So what is clear here is this vertex or the minimum. So this is the crucial point and so let's read the coordinate. The coordinate is 3 here and this is negative 5. 3, negative 5. So this is this point, this, the coordinate of this point is 3, comma, negative 5. Now as I've discussed in my previous videos, the equation of a parabola in the vertex form is like this, a times x minus xv, the whole squared plus yv, where xv and yv are the coordinates. So this is your xv, 3 is your xv, and this is your yv, the, the y coordinate of the vertex. So let's substitute that in this equation so we can say y is equal to a times x minus 3 the whole squared plus negative 5. So let's simplify this so you can say y is equal to a times x minus 3. Okay, now just we have to find out what is a. Now to figure out a, let's see one point that we can see on the graph which is neat point so well this point is a neat point so this is a what this is phi and this is a negative one so this point is phi comma negative one so that means this is your x x coordinate so this is your x value and this is your y value so in place of x i can put phi and in place of y i can put negative one so let's put this so i can say well negative 1 is equal to a times phi take away 3 the whole squared minus 5. Now this is where you have to be very careful and I've seen students doing too many silly mistakes in this process. So this is a times it's better to do more steps than fewer steps minus 5 so this is negative 1 is equal to this is 2 squared, which is 4a minus 5. Now this has become a linear equation, so I'm going to add 5 to this side. So to add 5 to this side. So what will happen? So you can say this and this gets cancelled. 4a is equal to 4. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 4. So the equation is, uh, yeah, or a is 1. So it's a basic y basic parabola which has gone three to the three to the right and five down. So you can say, well, the equation of this should be y is equal to one times x minus three the whole squared minus five. Okay, so let's confirm whether this answer is right. So let's put when at this point to confirm your answer, let's plug in this point. When x is 1, this is 1, y should be negative 1. Okay, when x is 1, y should be negative 1. So let's confirm that. So let's put x is equal to 1 and see what happens. If you're getting negative 1, this equation is right. So y should be 1 times 1 minus 3, the whole squared minus 5, which is this is 1 minus 3 is negative 2, and negative 2 squared is 4 minus 5, which is negative 1. So the equation is right. right.